The Puerto Rico State Commission on Elections, better known as CEE, is delaying certifying the final primary results until all votes are counted. While those votes are still being processed, our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp is in San Juan with the latest on the primary's voter turnout and how it compares to previous elections. As of Monday night, Jesus Manuel Ortiz has a 23-point lead over Juan Zaragoza for the PPD nomination. So far, only 82% of those votes have been counted for that race, counting roughly 131,000 votes so far. As of Monday night, about 80% of the votes have been counted for PNP ballots, making it roughly 244,000 votes. So far, Jennifer Gonzalez has a 13-point lead over the governor. I feel fortunate and grateful for all the support the people of Puerto Rico gave us. Even though Pierre Luisi conceded and Gonzalez is claiming victory, the CEE announced on Monday that the partial results should not be considered as the final results because the votes are still being counted. It was a long campaign. It was a hard campaign. According to the U.S. Election Assistance Commission, in 2020, the island had about 2.3 million registered voters, but online sources show only a fraction of registered voters went to the polls for the 2020 primaries. 204,000 voted in the PPD governor primaries and 281,000 voted in the PNP primaries. We spoke with people before the polls opened on Sunday. Many of them told us that they were not participating in the primaries. Now, their reasons vary, but historically, the island has a relatively low voter turnout. Political scientists say it's typical for primaries to have a lower turnout than a general election. According to online sources, only half the registered voters on the island participated in the 2020 general elections. Comparing the numbers to the mainland, about two-thirds of the voting eligible population turned out for the 2020 election making it the highest turnout in decades. For those that did vote, they say issues like electricity, the economy, and Puerto Rico's future status encourage them to vote in Sunday's primaries. Why do you want independence for Puerto Rico and not statehood? Because that was the dream of our ancestors. I believe in statehood. That's something that is the, um, the main goal of our party. In San Juan, Rachel Knapp reporting.